start off with the classic puzzle, 3x3. Three three. So for 3x3, three three, it's actually very simple to scramble. And if you know how to solve a 3x3, three three, you probably already know the notations. However, if you don't, let's just go through them once together. So the notations are very simple. And I'll do them once in the clockwise direction and once anti-clockwise. So let's go through them. So there are six for each face and they are R in the clockwise direction. R prime is anti-clockwise. L is clockwise. L prime is anti-clockwise. U is clockwise. U prime is anti-clockwise. D is clockwise. D prime anti-clockwise. F clockwise. F prime anti-clockwise. B clockwise and B prime anti-clockwise. So those are your notations. Now let's learn how to scramble. So the scramble will be on the top of the screen and for almost any WC event or at least for the N by N events, what you do is you hold green in front and white on top. So that would be something like this. We have green front and white top and let's just follow along with the scramble on top of the screen. So that is U prime, L2, F2, U, B2, U2, L2, B prime, U prime, L, R, F, U, F2, B prime, B2, F prime, L2. And now let's quickly match if we have um, scrambled correctly. So if you notice, there will be an image right next to the scramble. And let's quickly match that. So how I like to check is I check the top face and the bottom face. So that's how I know I've scrambled correctly. So let's just check. So we have blue here, white bar, yellow bar, green and red. So that's correct. Flipping over to yellow, we have a white bar, a green bar, blue, an orange bar and an orange edge here. So that means we have scrambled the cube correctly and successfully. So now let's move on. Now that we've learned how to scramble it 3x3, three three, let's move on to 2x2. Two two. So how you scramble a 2x2 two two is actually in the exact same way as a 3x3. Three three. And there isn't much explaining to do here. And like in a 3x3, three three, you would just hold green front, white top. And let's just go through the scramble together. So the scramble is R prime, U2, F2, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, F prime, R2, U2. And let's quickly check. So we have a green bar, orange, red, and flipping. Green, white, red, yellow. So that means that our scramble is correct. And now we've successfully scrambled a two by two. Four by four. So for four by four, it's actually almost as simple as a three by three, but just one move ahead. So in a standard 3x3, three three, you would just have layer moves like R, R prime, F, F prime. But now if you look at the scramble on the top, you would notice something such as W written uh, on some of the moves. So you can see an RW2, an FW2, etc. So what those are, are wide moves. So if you had a simple R or R prime, you would just move this outer layer here. So R and R prime. Now, if you have a wide move, what you do is you take both these layers and move them together. So an RW would be something like this. RW prime would be this. UW, UW prime, F, FW prime, LW2, etc. So that is how wide moves are. And now that we know how to do those, let's quickly go on and scramble the 4x4. So scramble again is on the top and we have B, R2, U2, F2, R2, B prime, L2, B, U2, D, B, R2, B2, R prime, Q prime, F2, R prime, B, R prime, L. Now if you notice, we have basically cross the 3 by 3 stage and now we're kind of graduating on to the stage with the wide moves so let's do those so we have fw2 r2 
एफ डब्ल्यू टू आर डब्ल्यू टू यू प्राइम एफ बी आर डब्ल्यू टू यू प्राइम आर डब्ल्यू टू वी हैव एफ टू बी आर डब्ल्यू प्राइम एफ टू आर प्राइम एफ एल प्राइम एफ डब्ल्यू सॉरी एफ डब्ल्यू प्राइम यू प्राइम आर टू बी प्राइम आर डब्ल्यू प्राइम यू डब्ल्यू टू एफ डब्ल्यू प्राइम यू डब्ल्यू टू एंड नाउ लेट्स चेक द स्क्रैम्पल सो जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट यू चेक ऑल ऑफ द पीसेस एंड लेट्स क्विकली डू दैट सो वी हैव रेड ऑरेंज ग्रीन एंड वाइट अ रेड पार अ वाइट पार वाइट येलो ब्लू येलो and yellow blue yellow green so that's correct and this let's just flip it over so we have yellow blue yellow blue um a green bar white white yellow red blue red orange red yellow red so that means that we have scrambled the 4x4 correctly and that's how you scramble a 4x4 5x5 so Uh, scrambling a five by five is essentially the same as scrambling a four by four. Now, a simple trick uh, on remembering how to scramble a five by five is just don't mess with the middle layers. Basically, don't move the middle layers at all. And actually, it's just the same as scrambling a four by four. The rest. So, R W would still be these two layers. R W prime would be this. L W L W prime Q W Q W prime etc. So basically, it's the same as solving a four by four. And since we all, uh, sorry, scrambling a four by four, and since we already know how to do that, let's move on. Uh, let's begin with scrambling a five by five. So we have D two B L W D two R two B two F L W two L prime D two F Oh uh, sorry, B two, F W prime, L prime, B W prime, um, F two, F W prime, D two, B W, D W prime, D L prime, F R prime, L W two, D two, U W two, B two, L W prime. D F U prime R prime F W prime D two F U W two L two L W two F W two U two R two B W L two R W L W and D R W prime R prime U prime D W two F G W R prime, sorry R W prime, L W R U W prime, L W two R W two and a D prime. And now quickly checking the scramble, we have a white bar, white cent, a white edge, um, orange, blue, green, blue, yellow, blue bar, red, green, white, orange, yellow, white, yellow, yellow, blue. Orange, green, blue, orange. So that side is correct. Let's flip the cube, and we have yellow, 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 yellow ball, yellow, white, orange, white, blue, yellow, orange, green, orange, red, uh, orange, yellow, red, orange ball, yellow, yellow ball, red, orange, red, blue. So that means that we have successfully scrambled a five by five, since the scramble is correct. For today's video. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for further content like this. Comment down below any questions that you might have and keep cubing. Cheers.